We start with those 50 heavy rope double unders. What are the keys of this event, Bill? Well, they just can't let this event get into their head. You don't want to think about it too much. You don't want to see one of the pieces of the apparatus come up and think, oh my gosh, I have to do this, I have to do that. But if you do fail, and you fail a couple times, don't let that anxiety ruin you for the rest of the event. Try to keep your head mellow, try to keep your head in the game, get back up on those hands and get, off, get up over that obstacle. Matt Fraser is already done with his 50 double unders, as is Noah Olsen. Now Fraser has to start again because both hands need to start behind the yellow line. The key for Matt Fraser is just don't punt this thing into the stands and he will be okay. Noah Olsen is through the slalom and onto the ramp. He is your leader right now in the heat. The time to beat Cody Anderson, 129.42 seconds, and Olsen stays on his hands as he approaches the stairs. Matt Fraser and Brent Fikowski are in second, and there goes Noah Olsen looking at the final obstacle, but he's going to have to come down. So now Matt Fraser approaches the steps. He's in second place. Matt Fraser over the steps. Matt Fraser is going to break before that final obstacle. Good news for Fraser, he's ahead of Vellner, he's ahead of Hogberg, he's ahead of Fikowski. Good break by Noel Olsen, very smart. I know he was trying to get that out of the way. And Here I don't comes know, Fraser. And I don't know if you saw that, but you saw Matt was actually trying to move the cameraman out of the way. He didn't want any of the things disorient him as he was getting up to those parallel bars, because that, as Travis said earlier, that's a tough part. Matt Fraser is up and over. And Matt Fraser has mathematically clinched. One forty-four point nine nine seconds will not win the event, but all Matt Fraser needs to do is complete the minimum work requirement in the final event, and he will be crowned the fittest man on earth for the third straight time. Rasmus Anderson has finished, Jorgen Carl Gubitsen has finished, and now Noah Olsen is in. Pat Velder's across, and he gets a hug from Matt Fraser. Cole Sager, top of your screen, just came in. Well, Lucas Holberg was sitting in third place overall. Now, Tushan, this is the issue. If you are trying to push for the top and you overextend yourself and you get overextended, this is what happens. You fail, you fail, you fail. You're not fifth place. Now you're 35th place. The good news for Holberg is that he has finished. Brent Fikowski is the man trying to chase him down for that final podium spot. And that is Brent Fikowski. He's still on the floor. And this is now where the times in the prior heats start to come into play. These are the standings coming into the event. As Patrick Veller and Lucas Holberg Looking to lock up the second and third spots heading into the final event. But they still have work to do. Hogberg has not finished. His score is up on the screen. But he is still on the floor. So he will come over. He is ahead of Fikowski, and that matters. So Fikowski will not be able to gain points on Lucas Hogberg. Fikowski trying to get over in 15 seconds before we hit the time cap. Brent Fikowski has done it, and he is in. That man has also done it. Minimum work requirement is all that remains for Matt Fraser, and for the third straight year, he has mathematically clinched with one event to go.